Hey guys, there's Shadow Knight Paladin, and welcome back to my channel. So, it's been a while since you saw me do watercolors and stuff. Um, especially since in Inktober happened, and then I stopped uploading for I think two weeks during Inktober. I explained everything that happened there in a video, which I will link probably in a card somewhere or something. But it's been a while since I used watercolor on watercolor paper, pretty watercolor makes me so happy. So what I'm using today is my Sakura Koi, um, what, what do you call it? It's a Sakura Koi pan watercolor. I don't know if you call it a travel kit or... If you've been on YouTube and you've watched tons of YouTubers, I'm sure you're super familiar with this. And it doesn't particularly need any introductions. So yeah, it's a 30 set. And I've been playing around with it since I got it. And yeah, it's pretty fun. I really love the colors. It's super vibrant compared to my Reeves watercolor. And I just really enjoy it. Of course, there's some pros and cons with pan. Uh, with pan. What do you call that? Watercolor. For example, it gets tacky pretty quickly since it's technically pigment just caked on your pan. So. When it absorbs water, it sometimes gets tacky and you tend to lift up more color from the pan than what you intend to. Also, mixing colors is a bit tougher against watercolor, uh, against like tube watercolors, um, especially when the pan, the palette is plastic. But other than that, it's super vibrant and I really love using it. So what I'm doing today is obviously a Christmas card. And in my office at work, we had an exchange gift where we drew someone's name and you buy stuff for them for Christmas. So I gave the person a bag with a notebook and a pen, but I really wanted it to be personal and something that only I can give because I wanted to show that I put effort and like it's not just something I bought randomly for the sake of the exchange gift. So. At first, I just wanted to give her a nice watercolor card with, I don't know, maybe a nice message. But when I was drawing it, at around this point, I actually was thinking like, what do I put in the center? Do I just leave it blank? Do I write the message in the center? Do I fold the card? No, that's a waste of the card. And this is the Fabriano postcard, watercolor postcard paper, so you could write on the back, which I intended to. So for a little while, which you don't see it here in the video anymore, I was just like sitting here staring at that dank space and being like, what do I put in the center? Like, there's a lot you can put in here, so it would be a waste if I just wrote on it. And it would make the card feel a lot, a little less special even though it's painted, like personally made. So what I did end up doing is I drew sort of a really loose portrait of her. I want to call it loose in the sense that I drew it loosely, but like, it's not super realistic portrait of her, but it was meant to be her. <laughs> so, I do. Well, even if you see the drawing, I doubt you'll be able to recognize her anyway, so it's fine. Um, so, I do a sort of anime ish, slightly real realistic ish portrait of her just to make it special and like make her feel that I really put effort into it because I don't want it to be just like, oh, here I bought the thing that reaches the limit like i i paid the minimum amount for your christmas gift and joy i didn't want it to be dry like that i wanted to f make her feel s happy with what she gets so even if the actual gift was generic i hoped that receiving some form of art would make her feel nice and happy um because well for me the greatest thing an artist can give is art and especially if, it, if they do it themselves, of course, because like, I spent time on this to hopefully make you feel happy about it. I don't know, that just, that's just probably my opinion since I really love art and I like drawings and I love receiving really personal gifts. Um, when someone gives me a drawing, I'm usually very happy about it because like, I feel like I'm important enough to you that you spent time and your talent to give me this thing. But that's just me, probably. I no, not really. Like, I'm part of that set of people that enjoy stuff like this. 
So what else? I decided to go with a lineless-ish take though. Um, the pencil kind of do end up showing up a little bit, so I would go over that with a gel pen on top so it doesn't bleed or anything. And one thing I did have some difficulty with, I guess because I was sort of in a hurry, I, I finished this at 12 midnight and I had to go to work and give the gift the next day. So yes, I did cram. Um, since this was a last minute idea, like it just popped up in my head to do it. So I guess because I was in a hurry, I didn't properly let the paint dry, so the hair should have been a bit blacker, but because the paint was still wet, I wasn't able to make it properly dark. But I guess it's fine. Stylistic thing. <laughs> Stylistic mistake. Eh. Other than that, I did enjoy working on this piece since it's uh, sort of weird at least I draw an actual person and not one of my characters. Um, it's refreshing to do it when you're trying to capture someone's face, even if it's only loosely done. Unlike when you have your own characters where you have an ideal, or you, you sort of have an ideal face when you draw characters or anime characters. But with portraits, like, you take note of how their eyes somewhat are shaped, or um, how their cheeks look like, their hair, are they wearing glasses, um, you know, I did get the hair 100%, it's supposed to be black. And the nose and the lips aren't exactly um, special, or they're not exactly feature-defining. But there was a little bit more planning and thought than like just drawing an original character on it. But yeah, that's pretty fun. I do like how it turned out. Sadly, I was not able to scan it since... I was in a hurry and I didn't really think that I'd record it. I just did, I just recorded it for the heck of it, out of habit, I think. So I didn't get to scan the final piece, though I did take a really pretty Instagram photo of it, so it's good enough, I think. <laughs> so it's a pretty short video. I drew this in an hour, an hour and a half, I think. I didn't particularly time it. But it is a quick piece, it's a small piece, so I, I hope that she enjoyed it. I hope that she liked it. <laughs> Funny enough, she did turn up in the watercolor session that I hosted like on Saturday for in the office as well, so <laughs> fun, fun times, fun times. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, this isn't my Christmas piece just yet, it's pretty early. Um, please stay tuned for that, I still don't know what I'm gonna do myself. But if you enjoyed this video and you like my art and stuff, please consider subscribing. And like join me on this journey of art and trying to improve and stuff and like discovering new stuff, discovering a whole new world of art. No, I've been in art for since I was born. But um, yeah, if you like anime stuff, fan art, watercolors, all of that jazz, character designing, feel free to subscribe. Uh, follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, and DeviantArt for more arty goodness. And I will see you around.